Good morning and happy spring. First day spring and it's over 50 degrees so it feels awesome. Feels like a victory lap in Chicago. <laughs> we passed by a couple of like beds of flowers near closer to our apartment and I was like oh we should shoot a shot of those budding flowers since it's the first day of spring for the intro shot and then like I was like oh we kept walking I was like oh we'll find another one between our our apartment and Christina and Grant's. Didn't find any. Um, so imagine blooming flowers. Yes. But we're meeting up Christina. We're going to grab the kids. I don't know where we're going yet. We're going to some park. Yeah. But we don't know what park. Mm -hmm. But we're going. When you stroll up, and your sister is wearing the same outfit. I mean, I have different it's shoes just the, on. It's the Christina version <laughs> and the Sarah version of the same outfit. Right. So mine is like turtleneck, jean jacket, and then I got boots. UIC art student. Right. But Christina's Mine's more, UIC athlete. <laughs> right. A little sporty. And then we said if Jenna was wearing it, she's more like... Classic. Classic. Timeless. Yeah. Timeless. Yeah, that's Jenna's style. So she'd have like ballet flats on, the jeans, like the turtleneck but no texture no, and like a, a peacoat. Pea 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 and a scarf. And a scarf. <laughs> Gotta park all to ourselves. Sleepy. Oh gosh, so sleepy. How about you? How about you? I'm gonna go try to find a tea or coffee and pastry joint over on Lincoln Avenue and then maybe go to this park called Oz Park. But we're trying to get this little guy to take a little rest. Why this is fancy. Christine. A little map of Lincoln Avenue. Ooh, look, we're here. We're right at the bottom. Coffee at Coffee Lab and Roasters, and then we're gonna we're placing the online order right now to pick up Gotham bagels. It's gonna be delicious, hey. delicious. Peter just got a drip coffee. How is it? Uh, I burned my mouth on it. Oh no! It smells really good, but I haven't really tasted it yet, so I'm letting it cool a little bit. Okay. We're here getting some bagels. Christina, what did you get from Coffee Lab? Who texted me? I got a vanilla latte. Ooh. No color ID. <laughs> Look at that bagel sandwich. You are goofy. Look at that. Oh yeah. We got the bagel of the month. I think it was the month. Might have been the week. But there's a potato laka on there, pastrami, an egg. All right, Sarah's gonna dive into this monster of a sandwich. Look at that. Can I try your guys? Yeah. I think it's like Christmas. Oh. Christmas? Also, we're at a different park now. Very fun. I think we're gonna hit up the playground once the kids are done eating. It is. Yep. We're park hopping. 
<laughs> How's that? That's spicy. You want to try? Yeah, what is all that? It's lox. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ready? Oh. Ah. oh! One, two, three! Oh! <laughs> so I am over here just feeding James. I'm having like a surreal moment of just how long, like how long I wanted to be here with our kids obviously little Jamesy boy is our is our only kid but even just being here with his cousins being in the city and how often even before we knew we were struggling how we'd go by parks and see families and it's like we're here we made it. Just seeing, seeing bits of spring everywhere is making me so happy look at those flowers those colors now that is a sign of a successful park day. <laughs> Do you love him? <laughs> Jamesy boy's dancing away and he loves it. Oh. I like Luca's slow move. Or asleep. Definitely a tuckered out asleep baby after a afternoon hanging out with his cousins. So <laughs> adorable and perfect. All right, I think we're, we might we're gonna try to venture downtown tonight, but we're gonna take a break. We just had early dinner pasta, and we're gonna hang up some of the stuff on the wall. First one up, and the mat is real. Second piece, downtown Orlando, now up. It's, it's so hard to look at these things because like the shadows are crazy. That's not level, that's not level. The wall's not level, but it's what happens when you live in like a 100 year old apartment building that's been plastered and shellacked a thousand times, but I think it's uh, looking good so far. Slowly but surely, Vanna lighting this to success. Ah, dog. Third one up. And this is like my, I love the hanging things, like the way Michael set that up to hang, because it's like a self-measuring leveling thing. Now there's a little bit of extra math because we're gonna do stacked on it, and these are all supposed to be relatively center across the same center line. So I have to like do some fun math, but you know, I don't mind that. Oh yes, our Marceline print from when we went to visit Walt Disney's Boyhood Town, and our Walt Elias number one engine train Larry Dotson. Here it is. Look at that. I think it looks great and it's pretty much within a like one eighth inch of what I was hoping everything would be in but I think you lose that in the perspective and you lose it within the wobbly walls. Now the next thing is I'm gonna put up these three on this in the dining wall to continue like this gallery look. Well it's later than I expected but this turned out I think beautifully and I'm so glad it's done. I'm so glad I did it because it, like, it's just like things on the wall to me, that's what makes me feel like it's becoming our home now and we've done a lot of that in the past week but look at this. We call it like our gallery wall and we've never had such like all these things. Some of these things have never been framed before. We've literally had this world showcase for three years. Thank you. Two years. It was the 2018 Festival of the Arts. I think. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. So three years. Yeah, it's 18 on there. Greg McCullen, 18. Um, but I love how it turned out. Here's the last wall that I didn't show you, but here's the three here. So you got your World Showcase painting, our heritage here from our wedding that we had, August 8th, 2015, and then all the same on the inside from, uh, not Bitchcraft, from Hellcats down in Winter Park. And then onward to what we've already showcased. But it's like looking down the hall, doesn't that just 
like that right there. Doesn't that look wonderful? Here's it from this angle, like from our bedroom. Ah, that looks great. Looks great. James still hasn't napped, but I also hung up our like blackout curtains in our room, so that's gonna make it even harder for us to wake up in the morning. <laughs> Are we going downtown? <laughs> what time is it even? <laughs> I think it's like 8 almost. Well, sometimes you make a plan and then your baby falls asleep for the first good chunk of the whole day because he hasn't taken like a solid nap today because it was all the adventuring. And you go, um, you know what? It looks like we're just calling it a night now. We were going to go out to go walk around Wrigley because Wrigley, Sarah hasn't really walked around it. And then we looked down at James and he was clunked. So... We're going to see how long he can, uh, he might, like, he very well could be asleep for the next couple hours. So we're just going to let him chill. we got the outlet on him. And, take off that bed. Yeah. And then we're going to go, I guess, hang out in the living room. Our apartment is toasty. We're, like, still figuring out the radiators in this space. But now it's actually not super, super cold. So it's a weird balance, but we're getting the hang of it. So we remembered that there was like a predecessor season of Phil Rosenthal eating food um, in a TV show called I'll Have What Phil's Having. 2015. 2015. It's just one season. Three years or two years before. Somebody Feed Phil. If you don't know Somebody Feed Phil, stop watching this and go watch it on Netflix. It's just such a and if you don't have netflix email us we'll give you our username and password. <laughs> it's just like you just smile the whole time you watch um and so we looked up this other and we've watched the sony feed fill so many times so we just bought for ten dollars the whole season of i'll have what phil's having on um what was it pbs, PBS. it's also on amazon prime but like we have Amazon Prime, but it wasn't like you had to pay for it there too. Um, so that's what we're gonna watch. I'm gonna fold laundry. And I think Peter's going to get us fountain drinks from a gas station. Um, that's that's a win of a night in my in my book. Two hours later. Here's a little vlog section because I'm editing the vlog you're watching right there. Um, we did watch some of I'll Have What Phil's Having, but we were also productive. We Peter did, dishes, did some dishes. I added in the, the vlog. We actually like figured out where this stuff is going. And yeah. I'm reaching out to a few people on Facebook who reached out about buying that TV stand. TV stand. We're getting there. I also folded laundry that's been needed to be folded unexpectedly productive all righty it is late so we're gonna get to bed the daily message i hope you live a life you're proud of if you find you're not i hope you have the strength to start all over again eric roth i love that it's late there's a baby sleeping on my lap yeah it's good to be home it's good to be home We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.